All right, welcome folks. Madio's Fidget Factor here. Uh, the Boker Plus CFM A1. Very good looking big knife. Start right off. Ambidextrous carry fidget ability. This only gets a five, just because it's only got the one position for the pocket clip on the one side. Nowhere else can you move it to. So me being formerly right-handed, now left-handed, uh, fidgetability suffers a little bit just from the carry position, so I only get that a five. Fidgetability comfort, carry comfort. I gave this a three. It's gigantic. It's heavy. I mean, it doesn't have a deep carry clip on it. Close, but not quite. I mean, it's big. You're going to feel it there. It's heavy, but... Not miserable. I've seen worse, but I only gave us a three just because it is so big. Uh, for a knife I love to fidget with, uh, could be a little bit more comfortable. Fidgetability sexiness. Seven. I mean, it's a good looking knife. Gets a lot of compliments. I mean, this, this thing is just the big, gigantic blade on it. I mean, people see it and they're like, ooh, what's that? Uh, the textured on one side g10 steel on the other but it's it's just a beautiful knife i mean easily one hand fidgetable which i'll get to in a little bit but it's a good looking knife uh ease of flick oh fidgetability sex i gave seven i sure went over that uh ease of flick fidgetability three uh you can't just regular push button flick it and you can't light switch flick it. I mean, occasionally I can get it up with a light light switch flick, but it's kind of rare. And that probably has a lot to do with the gigantic heavy-ass blade on here, uh, which is, by the way, uh, 14C28N steel. So three on ease of flick. One-hand fidget ability. I gave a four. Um, that is more due to the ease of flick and the fact that you can't get a full 100% flick on it. Uh, it does not fall shut. It's got the liner lock on it. I mean, it gets there, but it's, it's definitely not 100. Oh yeah, so that gets a four. Uh, fidgetability speed, it just gets a three. I mean, you can't really flick it without a little bit of wrist motion. Like I said, occasionally with the push button, you'll get close, light switch, I mean, if you're angling it down, the knife is so heavy that you can one-hand flick it, but it is what it is. But speed-wise, while it is enjoyable to flick, it gets three. Fidgetability weight at 5.44 ounces. She's a heavy folder. I only gave fidgetability weight a two. I mean, it's heavy. It's gigantic. It's, it's a big piece of steel in your pocket. Uh, you're going to feel it. It's heavy. Fidgetability sound. I gave this an 8. You can't really hear it too well over the speakers, I'm guessing, but it's got a good sound to it. Both opening and closing. It doesn't matter. It sounds amazing. Great sound on this. Uh, my notes I've had. You can hear it. Both opening and closing have a delightful sound. You just want to hear it again and again, and that's true. You just want to walk around flicking this thing open and close just because it, it's got a great sound to it. Fidget, fidgetability comfort. Uh, feels amazing in the hand when fidgeting. Uh, though it is so heavy, repeated flicks can be tiresome after fidgeting for an hour. I uh, gave this a 7. Fidgetability comfort, 7. I mean, if you're just going to do it a few times every now and then, it's not bad. But if you sit there for a long time, the weight does start to get noticed. Uh, happiness with fidgeting, 6 out of 10. After 20 plus fidgeting maneuvers, it really love, leaves some to be desired with the ease of deployment. Uh, though the sounds of this bad boy bring that desire right back. I mean, it just sounds so sexy. You just can't help but flick or open and close. And if you just watched my last video, today's drink of choice while doing this, The Glenfiddich 18.
delicious bottle. Got to say, nothing bad to say about it. Uh, let's see, uh, total score for this Boker Plus CFM A1, 4.8 for Matios Fidget Factor. It's not bad. I mean, we can get a lot higher, we can get a lot lower, but 4.8. You're never going to be unhappy fidgeting with this bad boy. It's just, it's fun. Something I didn't do in my last video, which I figured I'll start doing. Feel free to pause. Read through my notes. All right, folks. Have a good day. And please, no comments with me drinking scotch at 10 a.m. It was a long day already. It's going to be a long night, so... It is what it is. Have a good one, guys.